hi guys and welcome to kufi ayo honest weirdo i am discussing why i don't think some people should have children or most people should have children and why some people including myself don't want to have children some of the reasons i decided on this topic today because my birthday is next friday and it fits the whole theme of being forced into this world so yeah i just i wanted to do it the thursday before my birthday but i decided on doing an assumptions about me video you should follow me on instagram or twitter so that you can participate on that video because i always give snacky answers if you haven't noticed even though i am discussing this topic of like not enjoying the idea of birth and life and all of that i still love my birthday and i am looking forward to it next week to mark that day i will be shooting a vlog which will drop on sunday next sunday and the vlog is going to cover how my day goes even though i don't have any plans so it's like a let's see how it goes vlog if you're watching this and you love me is this is your reminder come on order that gift buy that gift save up that money whatever that you're going to send to me to make my vlog interesting even activities that you can plan for your best weirdo so i am looking forward to it let's see how it goes another thing i'll be doing to mark my birthday is giving out honest weirdo stickers and that's another reason for you to follow me on my social so you can see how i'm going to go about it this is one i did last week so yeah i'm going to do more like that so i'll need to send out forms to you guys so that i can know how to get it or like how i'm giving it to you and which one you want So what is antinatalism? Yeah, it sounds like a big philosophical term that is left for the bourgeois, but I have to tell you that it really isn't that deep. It is for all of us to know. It just means they believe that having or procreating is morally wrong. And you might be wondering, why is this young woman saying that procreating is morally wrong? Like, procreating is an essential aspect of life. In fact, it is so essential that the whole thing that sets the DNA, that is a molecule of life apart from every other molecule, is the fact that it reproduces, that is the replication process. And also, most of our social behaviors, our biological behaviors are meant for survival. And survival is not just survival of the individual, survival of the species, which is bent on procreation. So how dare I open my mouth and say reproduction is bad. A couple of months ago, I tweeted that I could not think of any non-selfish reason for procreating. And I challenged my followers to counter me with some non-selfish reasons. And nobody could do it. And it's a trend that I've noticed even in my private conversation when the whole concept of having children comes up. The people I have this conversation with cannot normally defend their position of wanting to have children. And it, sometimes they are even flustered because they are never considered the possibility of not having children to even push them to think about justifying why they should. And it's crazy because these are people that expected a certain amount of self-awareness and intentionality. Yet with the decisions so big as bringing somebody to this world, they give it no real thought. They normally end up flustered and give me a couple of reasons that I think are selfish. So if you have any non-selfish ones, maybe you've given it thought for a long time and you have a non-selfish justification of childbirth, you can leave a comment. As you're doing that, remember to like this video. You can also share it if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to hit 200 by my birthday. Can you give me that as a birthday gift at the least? So let's find out some of the common reasons why people decide to have children. The common reasons people choose to procreate include one, they want a mini-me, two, curiosity, they want to know how their children will look like or be like, three, they need someone to carry up their name, um, a legacy, something to leave behind, four, they want to satisfy their parents and the society by giving them their parents' grandchildren or giving the society people to be in it. The one that pisses me off a lot because babies are cute allegedly this is the one that comes when most of them are flustered because um that's just what you're supposed to do they also want someone to take care of them when they are older so basically children as an investment 
someone to keep them entertained and give them company during their adult life or someone for them to love and someone who will also love them their children are kind of like an attempt to fix the mistakes of their parents maybe their parents is to yell at them or you know allow them to make their own decisions so they are trying to be, prove that they are better than their parents with their own children the crazy thing is that after natalists have listed these reasons it is anti-natalists that are seen as a selfish one and it got me thinking why are we seen as a selfish one i think one of the reasons is that our our own justifications for deciding to remain childless are not considered valid so let's see what are the common reasons people choose not to have children one of them is environmental impact and um, overpopulation many people might think uh the world is not overpopulated there is still room for more meanwhile there was one of my videos this one on depression where i discovered actually my surprise that human beings are currently 7.7 .7 billion meanwhile in the 1950s the world population was 2.5 billion so if we are continuing this exponential birth rates that we have in like in nigeria where the fertility rate is about 5.3 births per woman for the environmental impact imagine the amount of waste you generate every single day and then you're having three children you're adding three more of that amount of waste like just think about pampas for example those things don't degrade and your child uses hundreds of them over the first two years of their life i don't even want to get riled up about that so let's go to the next thing. Another reason why people choose not to have children is because life isn't even that great. And I don't know why a lot of people who have realized this still want to have children. That it ties back to the selfishness thing. They want to have children so that they can feel better about life. But if they even sit to um, think about it, another reason not to have children is because they are stressful. But many people don't see that this is something that happens. Even the economic impact of having children some of you are not able to give, will not be able to give the child the best they can get because most people are not actually rich and cannot actually afford the expensive property that is children. Babies are cute, but remember, your children are not going to stay kids forever. They are going to get older and they're going to become people and they're going to have personalities and they're going to be autonomous. But when you already have these expectations, or you want someone to follow your footsteps or to like to be a mini me or to leave a legacy, someone maybe you're a lawyer or a doctor and you want your child to be that, or someone that will bring be your investment, like someone that will take care of you your child is an autonomous person it's just really a a um, stroke of luck how your child turns out because your child can be very different and if your child is stubborn like you are for having all these expectations so the child is even born the child is probably not going to want to do all those things or you make your child miserable but i know it does not concern you because your child's autonomy is not one of the reasons you are having him or her going back to what i was saying about life not being great many of us just ignore the fact that we don't enjoy most time that we are alive and we don't care if if someone else is going to come and pass through this whole experience just because we want to satisfy our own emotional needs and i find that very very selfish and i am not happy i was born here i'm not happy that i have to make decisions every single day i'm not happy that life feels like one long task I am not happy about all those things. I'm not happy about pain. I'm not happy about sadness. I'm not happy about the prospect of death because yeah, killing myself is not the solution to not being born because death is actually a consequence of life. So that is another thing you're doing to the child you bring to this world. You're making him have to face or her have to face the prospect of dying. And so I am not happy about all these things. I'm not even happy about not being sure about the afterlife. I'm not happy about not being sure about anything. Basically, the whole life is just full of uncertainties and surprises. And you cannot figure this shit out. Why don't I spare another person of these trials? Having children is a risk. It's a gamble. Because you have issues. Some of them genetic. Health-wise, mentally, even the way you think. Like for me, one of my fears. Me, like the thing that's causing me this fear. This hesitation about having children. People think should even make me want to have children is my intelligence. Like people are like, some people have actually told me that why would you deprive the world of someone like you? And I'm like, I don't want, I'm depriving someone like me of the world because the world is horrible. And I don't want someone that is, sorry, it might be like I'm choosing my own horn. I know people don't like it when people are confident in their abilities, but I don't want someone that is 
think that things like me to exist someone that is aware of things and sensitive to things that are changing and can really see what is going on and see through the mirages i don't want someone like that because I want someone that will be happy and these qualities do not go well with happiness. But maybe, and I have considered this, that I am looking at things from a pessimistic lens. Maybe there is actually joy in life. Maybe life is truly a gift and I'm yet to see it. I want to see it because I too would love to have the joys of motherhood. I am not a robot. I would also love to hold my child in my arms. I want someone to take care of me when I'm older. I want all those selfish things but i just have to rise above it and resist the biological urge to procreate because i have stepped back and looked at the pros and cons especially from the perspective of the being you're bringing because the being is not actually going to lose anything by not coming to earth an argument a lot of people might have is that if nobody wanted to have children the species would die i'm just going to go ahead and say so what what if the species died fine that again goes against every biological programming and that is why i'm of the opinion that one child or two children is not bad if someone can convince me or if my mindset can change i will be glad because i want to enjoy all these things that society has tried to convince me since i was a child and speaking on that since i was younger i would say that i didn't want to have a child probably when i was like six seven and adults would just my mom to be specific would just look at me like what is this child even saying and i was a crazy child so my mom used to take me seriously a lot because i was always saying things that were unexpected and questioning the expected so when i said that i, I the reaction was like you grew out of this phase but it's been 17 18 years now and i am still in this phase at first they will be like by the time you get to your age of marriage and having children which is um 18 to 30 years actually your peak reproductive age so why am i not feeling the motherly urge the latest one is that let me finish school by the time i get to 30 35 i want children i don't know i can't say please nobody should come at me if i change my mind because that is just part of life it's about growing and everything but for now these are my reasons and if i get out of this phase i will be okay i'll be happy so yeah i don't know if i've been able to convince anybody about not having children but i have probably gotten some of you to think about your decision to have children so this is where i will be signing off don't forget to follow my ig and my twitter so that i can see your responses and so that i can see who wants the stickers but if you don't want to do all of that the comments are there you can just leave a comment remember to like share and subscribe and it's goodbye from your favorite honest weirdo